And in part six, Jim said, let there be light. So we're here with Scott today. We're going to be uh, installing the new lights on top of the tank. These are the uh, GHL Mitras uh, LX 7206s. 7206s, big uh, badass lights. Uh, there'll be three of them going over the top of the tank. We have a uh, aluminum extruded rail that we'll be using as the spine or backbone to support the lights, and that in turn will be suspended off this 2x4 previously strung up across the top of the tank. Scott's currently looking for the center line so that we can make sure the lights are positioned uh, over the center of the tank. Uh, what I have here is two ridges of live rock that will be placement for different corals with a trough down through the center. So the lights will be over the trough and they'll be shooting or illuminating uh, the ridges themselves more towards the inside. Uh, there will also be some light that will spill over to the front side of the reef here. So with that said, uh, I think what I need to do is uh, start drilling some holes in the uh, rail so that we can suspend uh, the light from the 2x4 up above. I have the hanging mechanism from another brand of lights that I'll be adapting and using to suspend the aluminum rail and with a few holes drilled into it, I can hang the rail and use it along with some clever clamps that Scott made to suspend the new GHL Mitras over the top of the frag tank. Okay, so the holes are drilled in the rail. That's ready to have its uh, hanging bracket attached to it. Uh, we've got some special help today. Marco, uh, Mr. GHL is here, and he is mounting the power supplies to the uh, 2x4 that's above the top of the tank. He's doing so in a way that there are some spacers between the ballast between the ballast and the wood to allow the heat from the ballast to kind of escape. And Scott is over here drilling holes uh, to mount the uh, hooks to hang uh, the cables that will hold the uh, aluminum rail that is going to hold the lights. Okay, so the uh, aluminum rail now has the uh, stainless steel cables attached to it. Yep. A little bit of a challenge to uh, down. make sure that all the screws thread sizes matched each other and I have to admit I had a little explosive uh, situation at one point with regards to some of my frustrations but it's now working and we're ready to hang the rail up there uh, above the top of the tank. Alright so the rails have now been uh, hooked to the eye loops and is now suspended above the top of the tank. We've got some uh, protection over the top of the tank in case anything falls into the tank. Well, considering this side isn't suspended anyway from the ceiling, it's not lifted. So to make things aesthetically pleasing, we have a level up there and using that to uh, level the aluminum rail that's going to hold the lights. So now it comes time to install the, uh, the Mighty Mitras. Uh, to interface the mitras with the aluminum rail, we need to add a, um, uh, an adapter, for lack of a better description. Uh, these come from uh, aquarium LED mounts, and it'll consist of a type of mechanism that will attach to the rail, and it'll have a swivel base on it that in turn will attach to the light, uh, so it allows me the ability to uh, angle 
uh, or slide or adjust uh, the lights on the rail itself. So there's an attachment mechanism that goes on to the top of the Mitra light. It has a swivel ball on it. Then there's an interface for the swivel ball that has brackets. And we have these little brackets here that we got custom made from Aquarium LED mounts that will clamp over the extrusion. So there's this bottom piece that the button head attaches to. And then there's a top piece someplace around here that will go over the top of the the extrusion so that these can be slid back and forth and it just mounts on there like so. Very cool. And then once these are up you can articulate your light any which direction. All right, so one down. Mark is working on the other over there. GHL is widely recognized for the most reliable and future-proof aquarium controllers, dosers, and aquarium LED lighting on the market. Designed and manufactured in Germany, all GHL products are built with the highest quality and standards. The GHL Profilux 4 raises the bar to a whole new level. Featuring built-in Wi-Fi, the Profilux 4 can be connected to your network wirelessly and be monitored and controlled from anywhere. With integrated ports for temperature, pH, ORP, conductivity, you can monitor virtually anything. Built-in expansion ports and optional flow sensors allow the Profilux 4 to scale to meet the needs of even the most advanced aquarium installations without the need for additional add-on modules. The new GHL Doser 2.1 takes dosing to the extreme with integrated Wi-Fi for wireless management. It includes inputs for level sensors, a temperature probe, and an output for a magnetic stirrer, making it an ideal solution for everything from dosing, automatic top-off, automated water changes, and even automated feeding. The GHL Mitras are the most powerful and flexible LEDs in their class. The 7206's built-in wireless control makes for fast and easy setup, while the GHL Light Composer allows users to easily set up their spectrum and lighting schedule. Six individual LED clusters provide the industry's best blending of LED channels while also providing the best spread. Nine channels of control allow you to tailor your lighting scheme to meet the needs of even the most difficult to keep corals while also bringing out colors in corals and fish that would otherwise remain unseen. All GHL products can be controlled via the GHL Control Center application as well as the My GHL Cloud interface, allowing for monitoring, control, and management from anywhere via an internet connection. The unique interface eliminates the need for coding while providing advanced programming functionality unrivaled by the competition. If you're looking for the best controllers, dosers, and lighting on the market, then GHL has a product to fit your needs. For more information, visit AquariumComputer.com. Aquarium LED Mounts manufactures revolutionary articulating mounts for the most popular LED fixtures and pendants. Their unique patent pending design allows for full articulation of the light. You can rotate the fixture 360 degrees while also tilting it in any direction in order to maximize coverage while reducing shadowing and light bleed onto the viewing panels. They are designed to be used in conjunction with canopies, light racks and light bars but can also be adapted for use with light mount arms. The kit includes all the hardware needed to attach to your favorite LED fixtures. Aquarium LED mounts offers articulating mounts for many popular fixtures such as the GHL Mitra's LX series, Kessel 350, Kessel 360, and AP700 fixtures as well as Ecotex Radeon, AI Hydra 52, and AI Soul fixtures. Custom mounting adapters for other fixtures can be produced upon request. For more information, check out AquariumLEDMounts.com
Hi there, my name is Jim Stein and you know me as the LA Fish Guy. Well, I also wear a couple of other hats. One of them is the jellyfish tank called the Jelly Aquarium, and the third is MyFishTank.com. I offer an entire line of acrylic aquariums ranging from rectangular to hexagon, flatback hex, as well as the custom curve front aquariums. There's also an entire line of stands and canopies ranging from MDF to pine to oak with a variety of different finishes available. And the website is even smart enough that you can calculate what the freight and crate charges to your location will be. That's myfishtank.com. Where are we putting the lights? So we'll be mounting the first light. There's a clamp that will uh, bolt over the rail itself. As you can see, the uh, swivel ball mount is below it. There's a bracket that in turn attaches to the light. So as Scott gets the nuts tightened on the bolt. We need a Phillips head screwdriver I didn't bring with me. Over here. We're good enough to hold. And that squeeze clamp allows him to slide the mount back and forth along the rail. The swivel there allows the light to be adjusted, or as the word Scott uses, articulated, uh, yeah. so that you can uh, aim it in different directions. The lights themselves are attached to a swivel ball mount, which in turn is clamped over or around the aluminum rail. This gives us horizontal movement left and right along the length of the rail, and it will also swivel up to 30 degrees to the left or the right. In addition, the entire aluminum rail can rise and lower vertically depending upon the height or amount of access I need to get into the tank. The ballasts are mounted safely above the tank and insulated from the wooden rafters so as to adequately allow themselves to vent or dissipate any of the heat that they'll generate. So now Scott's going to go through and secure the uh, power cord between the ballast and the light itself using cable ties. The power cords are long enough for most aquarium applications, but in our case we place the ballast directly above the lights and to keep things neat and tidy, the excess is bundled adjacent to the ballast. And so now it comes time to uh, supply the power side of the ballast which eventually the three power supplies up here will plug into an EB4 that'll be controlled by the apex but uh, that unit hasn't arrived yet so temporarily the power cords will be plugged into a uh, uh, extension cord, a heavy duty extension cord that has a uh, multiple plug end. With the new GHL LED lights now powered up, Marco defines which unit is the master, followed by its two slaves. Since all three lights will have the same settings, only one is programmed and the other two will follow its lead. He then places them into a display mode, which runs through all the various colors that are offered. Okay, so Scott and Marco have the, the laptop out here and they've managed to uh, connect to my Wi-Fi. Well, so we're trying to connect to the Wi-Fi, but Jim has very poor Wi-Fi in here. Okay, good, so we do have an IP address. Uh, the garage is at the opposite end of the house, so the Wi-Fi apparently so isn't that strong out here, but uh, with the laptop there connecting to the Wi-Fi and going to attempt <coughs> to uh, do some programming on the lights. And that programming consists of downloading the GHL Control Center program, which will allow us to create a lighting schedule as well as adjust the various colors and intensities of the lights. We'll get the, you know, we're going to do some quick setup here, and then what we're going to do is we'll uh, switch over to the screen capture software and we'll actually go through and set up a light using GCT and we'll create a project um, with this light curve. Um, and uh, stay tuned. So we've got the lights hung above the top of the new coral frag tank and we're just about ready to start doing some programming uh, but I wanted to take a moment and make it a point to invite you to come back 
before the next part, which will be GHL style programming. Until then, keep moving forward. <laughs>